Hello everyone and welcome to the new Simply Wall Street Markets page. This feature has been highly requested by you, our users, so we're really excited to finally release it. This page is in beta, so if you do have any feedback, please do let us know in the forms provided on the page. So this video will aim just to give you a quick overview as to why we created the page and then what you can do on it and how it can help you in your investment process. So we created the page because a lot of feedback we received was that when any time an investor is doing market or industry research on the internet, there is a lot of noise out there and it's hard to know what's important and what is just dribble. So we aim to cut through the noise and provide a market or industry overview that shows the fundamental data that is important to those particular markets or industries uh, rather than fill, fill it with noise that doesn't actually help uh, relate to what markets or industries are doing. So that's what this page aims to do, cut through the noise and provide the fundamentals that you need to know. Um, now what you can do on this page is quite a fair bit. It can almost be your one-stop shop for market research. So you'll see here with these drop-down menus, you can look at any country in the world, any market in the world, and within those countries and markets, you can look at any particular sector uh, or industry within them that you want to delve into. Now you could do this because either you want to monitor the current markets and industries that you're invested in or you might look at this because you simply want to put your finger on the pulse of a particular market or industry and see how it's performing. So let's just stick with the US stock market for now. So you'll see here at the top there's an overview of how that market has performed. We'll say here any noticeable or notable sort of moves um, but it's also a place for us to show you the short-term performance as well as a longer-term performance over the past 12 months. This first chart is the market valuation and performance. Now it's important because it shows you how the uh, market or industry has performed over the last three or ten years and it's and that rolling valuation over that time. So this top chart here is important because this purple line represents the rolling PE ratio which you can see changes as I move the cursor and anything in the green section is when the market or industry is trading below its three-year average and anything in the red is when it's trading above its three-year average. So you can see here that during COVID, for example, it was trading well below its three-year average and it has since now moved back up to above the average. As for this second part of the chart, the red line represents the total market capitalization or value of the particular market or industry that you're looking at and the blue line here represents revenues and the uh, teal line underneath that represents the uh, underlying earnings of profitable companies within that market or industry. Now the important thing to look here, uh, any industry or market you're looking at, is just whether or not these lines are aligned and if they move in tandem or if they do diverge. So typically what you want to see is that these lines move um, relative to each other and they move in tandem but if you do see any divergence that can be something to either represent like an opportunity or a particular warning if say for example the value of the market is skyrocketing but earnings aren't supporting it or vice versa if the market capitalization or value isn't moving much but earnings are really improving uh, that could also signal an opportunity so this chart is very useful for getting uh, an overview of how the market and industry is performing and uh, where it's currently at so this is basically to cut through the noise and to see how things have been performing recently. We provide you with all the data here if you do want to delve into it. And we also provide you with an info modal uh, basically that delves into more detail on the data points, the sources, and how to interpret uh, what's, what you're looking at on the chart. This next part of the page is regards to the sector or industry trends. So at a market level, we'll show you the particular sectors and how they've performed over different time periods, be it seven days or five years. Um, and you can see here recently, energy's done well, healthcare not so much. Um, and we do that because we want to, while you will want shorter term information, it's also important to keep in mind the longer term still. And if you click, if you want to know anything more about this industry, you can simply just click through any of these buttons at the end, and that'll take you to this same page, but for that specific industry. So the financials or energy or whichever you pick. The next part is also important, valuation. Now you'll see price to earnings ratios all over the internet, um, but just if you look at them by themselves, they're not actually that valuable because it's there's it's not it doesn't reveal the whole picture. So what typically means is what price to earnings ratio typically uh, represents is optimism or pessimism around a particular stock or industry or in or markets, and we can see here that 
we show earnings growth as well. And the reason is because people typically or investors are typically happy to pay a higher price to earnings ratio if a particular sector or industry or company is expected to have higher earnings growth. So if you see a sector with a high PE, you would expect it to be accompanied by a high rate of earnings growth expected in the future. If it's not, then that might be a warning sign. Or if you've got a, a sector, for example, that's trading at a lower PE, but actually has a relatively high earnings growth rate, that could signal an opportunity where there's an um, undervalued opportunity where there's underappreciated growth expectations. Again, if you want to learn more about those sectors, you can click through any of these buttons here and you'll learn more about them. For a bit more context, we also provide you with the market PE. So this teal line here just gives you an idea of where the market PE is right now uh, and where these particular sectors are in relation to it. Finally, at the very bottom, we provide you with the stop gainers, top stock gainers and losers. Basically, just uh, re regarding dollar value rather than percentage moves. And this shows you which uh, companies have moved the most within that market over the last seven days. And on the far right here, we have the latest news. So regarding any uh, company within that market or industry, we'll show you uh, a brief update here. Now you might recognize, recognize this from the dashboard. However, the dashboard only shows companies that are in your portfolio or your watch list. Uh, this here on the market page uh, doesn't relate to what you have in your portfolio or watch list. So it could show you companies uh, that you wouldn't otherwise have known about or um, give you an idea of what actually is occurring or what's most notable within that particular market or industry. So yeah, this market page was built for you to cut through all the noise and look at what the ultimate um, underlying drivers are of markets and industries, how they're performing and how they're expected to perform in the future. And so it's really quite a comprehensive overview and aims to really help in your investment process.